GNS3 2.0 introduces a number of changes and new features. In this video, we're going to discuss a really cool feature available in GNS3 2.0, which is the ability to have multiple users connected to the same project. This is a new feature available in 2.0 and allows multiple users to be connected to the same project running on a server and see each other's changes in real time and collaborate on projects together. If you open up a console on a router as an example, you'll be able to see the commands sent by others. So we have shadowing of console sessions. You can find out more information about this by going to the GNS3 website, clicking documentation, and searching for one GNS3 server, multiple clients. This applies once again to GNS3 2.0 and later only. This allows you to create a central GNS3 server and have multiple GNS3 clients connected to that server. Everything is synchronized, changes are made in real time, Appliance images will be uploaded via the GUI and are stored on the remote server. Now please note this is an advanced use of GNS3. It's recommended that you first get a local install working before you try and do this. There is also no user isolation. All users can view all projects and modify them. So the first step is to set up a server I'll show you that in a separate video. In this video, I wanna show you how to connect a client to an existing server and show you how nicely this works. So in this example, I have GNS3 2.0 running on a Mac, and I've also got GNS3 2.0 running in Windows. I've already configured the Windows PC, so I'm gonna show you how to set up the Mac the process is very similar. And then in a separate video, I'll show you how to set up the server. To set up the client, go to Help, Set Up Wizard, and select this option, Run Everything on the Remote Server. At the moment, I only have a local install of GNS3, but what I'm gonna do now is move everything to the remote server. So I'm gonna click Next. I need to specify the host name of the server. So in my example, it's 192.168.1.161. As you can see, that's the IP address configured on my Windows PC. The GNS3 VM is running within ESXi. And to help with the recordings, what I've actually done here is I'm running ESXi within a VMware workstation on my Windows PC but you could run that on a separate ESXi server. I've got the GNS3 VM therefore running on my ESXi server, and the IP address of the GNS3 server is 192.168.1.161. I'm not gonna enable authentication. This is a simple lab that I've got at home, but if you're sharing using a cloud-based solution, you probably want to enable authentication. Click Next. Notice the local server is being stopped. And suddenly, I now have a connection to the server. Details are shown in the summary. I can now click Finish. You can now upload an image to the server. So as an example, you could upload an iOS router image a VMware virtual machine, a Docker container, or other options. I'm gonna click cancel at this point and go to projects library, which is showing me the projects available on the server. This one is currently opened by the other client. So I'm gonna select that option and click okay. Now what you'll notice is it's the same topology as I'm seeing on the Windows PC. What I'll do is make my Mac window smaller and move the Windows PC down here. And notice what happens when I drag 
a GNS3 VM onto my Windows workspace, it shows up on the Mac workspace. I'll connect a device on the Windows PC. I'll show the labels on this device. Show them over here. I'll start up the devices in Windows. Notice they've gone green. They're green on the Mac as well. I'll open up a console on Windows. Three consoles have shown up. I'll open up a console on the Mac. I'll change the settings on Windows to make it clearer to see what's going on. So here's my Windows PC. Here's my Mac. Notice what happens. Conf T on a Mac. Press Enter. Create a loopback. Now I'll jump onto the Windows PC and create a loopback here. So that console was hidden, so I'll do it again. So IP address 1.1.1.255.255.255.255. Go onto the Mac, router OSPF1, network, and enable OSPF on all interfaces. Notice whenever I type on one console, it ends up on the other console. Now I'm on the Windows console. I'll jump back to the Mac console. I can drag another router to the topology, it becomes available on the other client. So this is a really nice feature available in GNS3 2.0. I'm running the GNS3 VM in ESXi. I have two clients connected to that ESXi server. So in GNS3 preferences, under server, notice the local server is not enabled. We have a remote main server. And this is the configuration of the remote server. Under server summary on both Windows and the Mac, I only have a connection to the remote server. So anything I do on one instance of GNS3 is replicated to the other instance or the other client. So I can move my devices around and that's replicated on the other client. I could add another device to the topology and cable that device and that becomes available on the other client. Once again, any changes made on the one client is shown on the other client I'm typing in Windows now, and I could create additional interfaces and simply change the configuration as needed, and that config is replicated on the other client. Be aware that if you shut down GNS3 on the one client, it will affect the other client. The project is therefore shut down here because I shut it down on Windows. So this is a really nice feature in GNS3. You can now share topologies via central server with others and multiple users can work on the same project at the same time. Whatever the one user does is replicated to the other users. So as an example, if you have a teacher and students, they can share the configuration. The teacher can shadow the students and help them with their configuration. I hope you found this video useful. If it's been of benefit to you, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.